talking a little bit about portable DJ loudspeaker. Such as the Technical Pro that I'm actually showing here. And so, as part of one of the projects that I have on my media studio, I really wanted to get into the music business, you know, like DJs and stuff. And I've always liked that, but I've never actually gotten into it. So I decided to actually get the equipment, add it to my portfolio of stuff. I do photos, I do video, and I'm actually going to be doing music. And to that point, I'm actually showing out these speakers that are the ones that I actually got from VHR. The idea was getting some portable speakers that were actually very good and I could use for almost any activity that I want to do indoors or outdoors and also something that is portable, lightweight, easy to move around and easy and quick to set up as well. So these speakers, you could get something like this online almost everywhere actually. I got these here locally because the speakers to where I live at the moment in Puerto Rico was actually as expensive as the speakers themselves so it was not really worth it to me to actually order them here. But if you live in a place where you actually can order them online, you can get them online. Or if you are like me and you live somewhere you can, you can actually look locally for something similar to this if you're looking to getting portable speakers to do any type of party or just to listen to music and stuff. So these actually are technical pro speakers. There are quite a few brands that you could get and they are very similar in construction and similar type of speakers. There are a lot of models of this, but they're basically all the same thing. You have the speakers, you have a little base on the back that you take off. One side has the amp, the other side has the speaker cable and such on the microphone. These are actually 10 inch and they are rated to 3000 watts even though they're never going to reach that point but that is what the specifications say and that is how they sell them to you. Um, in reality maybe 600 to 1200 maybe but I have tested them and they are really good and they are loud enough for your average party. So as I said, 10 inch woofer with a tweeter on top, air vents on the side and here on the back there's a cover that's removable, there's a button here on top that you can actually just push aside and get this cover off. So this side is the one that has the cables, you got all your wiring in here. Basically everything you need to actually run these can fit in here. I actually have two mics in here. I, this actually came with the kit, they're also technical pro. They work pretty well, I've tested them out already and I'm satisfied with how they work. And you get the microphone wires, you know, an extension for the microphone. There's also another set of wires that is not in here because I found it takes too much space. So I actually took it off to only use one mic instead of both of them. I'm pretty sure that for the moment one mic is good enough. Later on I want to get wireless mics to which I'll have another little bag that has that part of the equipment and get these out of here and maybe use one as a backup. But for the moment, I think it's pretty good as it is. And after you're done with this, just set it aside. You cannot put it back on the speaker because the port for the wire is here. So you can't put that back. You have to leave that aside. And this side over here should be the one with the amplifier then, of course. And there we go. The speaker also has the plug in the back and you're not going to be putting this back because you're going to be using this to control everything, right? This specific technical pro unit is a PW1075LXDT. It has Bluetooth included so I can actually hook my phone wirelessly to it and play music through that. I can use the SD card it has here and it has a USB as well to play MP3 files through there. It also has line-in to which you have a few different connectors here but the most basic one to use is the audio 3.5 which is what basically every telephone or any type of portable adapter you could want to put in here has. And there is a report out to which you can actually add a recorder or you can actually put a subwoofer on it. I tested that and that works pretty well and that is what I'm going to do. I will show that in another video that will actually talk about the subwoofer I'm going to be using with this equipment. I want this equipment to be like the high notes and the mid notes. I'm not going to use this for low. I'm going to use a, a separate woofer for lows and that is because the bass in these is not exactly the best for me. I wasn't exactly trying to use them for everything, high lows and mids. I just wanted these for mids and highs and I was already planning to get a subwoofer for bass and that is where this connector is going to come in for me. And here you could put a headphones if you wanted to actually use them and it has four channels for microphone, has a few equalizer settings here. I'm not pretty happy with this setup here because it's just a button that says bass flat, top, rock, top, and blah, and you have to select from that. You can't actually fine tune the equalizer. You have to select from one of those. And I found that rock and top are the two 
best family one out of ten to. And if you add bass to it, it gets a little bit raunchy, but I'll be trying that in a little bit. You also have an effect here. You have the depth and you have the echo. And it has a phantom of its button that activates the effect. Uh, you have a channel select here. You can actually select the input line or select the Bluetooth line. It says it right here. There's no problem with that. And here's the volume for that. And this is the master volume here. And you, of course, have the LED to show you the volume so you can actually measure how high or low you're going with the volume here. And over here, you have a little screen that is actually the Bluetooth screen. You have the menu screen for the MP3 and everything else that you put on USB card and all that stuff. Fairly easy to use. I found that I could sync my cell phone fairly quickly. I just had to press mode. It went into connecting, and then you go to your cell phone, look for the model number, and click on that, and it's connected. You can start playing your music and blasting around. That was very quick and easy to use. The power cord is a generic type of cord that you have, the same plug that you have for all these devices and computers, which is very good because if you lose it, it breaks or something, you can easily replace it. There's a little button here that's power on the side, and you have the two outputs here that you have to connect the speaker. So you just have to plug one speaker in one side. this on the other side. And then to get things rolling, you just have to start your music either connected with the cable here or through Bluetooth. What I'm actually going to use is the Bluetooth here, so let me go ahead and turn my phone. Since I had already previously connected to it, it already connected automatically. Pretty basic, pretty automatic, and pretty quick to do so. But it does not connect unless you actually turn on the Bluetooth here on the device. So you have to click here, and I found that sometimes I have to go into the phone, click on the device itself, and then it would connect. So it's not really safe. Like for example, if I'm using this in my car, or using Bluetooth in my car, I just turn the radio on, and the phone will automatically connect to the radio in the car. You don't have to do anything. It just brings it up. Here, you just have to push it a little bit, but it works fairly quickly, and it's not really that hard to do. So that's done. All you have to do then is start your music. So I'll start our sample track here just to show you how this sounds here. I'm recording through Tascam. Uh, everything is set up for a normal voice, so I don't know how it'll end up, but it should be fair or good enough for this video. Start playing your music, and then you just go ahead over here and you put the volume where you want it. So I'm going to put the master volume at 50%, and I'm going to start moving the channel 7 here. <laughs> So that's flat. That's pop. Okay, and if you want to add some bass to that, you have to actually press the little bass button here. That gives you the bass, or more bass. Now, the problem that I have is the bass is kind of weak, and that is because there are small speakers, like 10 inch speakers, and not like 15 or 18 inch speakers. So, this will do very well if you actually leave the bass off and you use pop or rock, as I just showed. Just play it up, put the volume where you want it. And that works out pretty well. Now, with the bass, as you can hear there, bass is not that good and I have a system here that I'll actually show that a sample of that as well that's pretty far away and that system is a small bar that has one signal to it that is a home theater system I'll show you a bit of that in comparison to what we were doing here
Okay, so if I compare this to that, this system is going to be louder because I just went past volume here and there was volume on that, and that was like half volume as well on that. But the bass on that system is much better, to which I definitely recommend getting a separate bass for the system. And you'll have a few different ways to connect that. I actually use a report out here, and it works pretty well for a test system that I was using. Or I can actually get another connector and use the same connector that I'm going to be using for my test mixer. To which I got a new mark system, and I'll be doing another video on that as well later on. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good system. Uh, I'm not sure if the 3000 watts or something is actually there. I'm pretty sure it's less than that, but that's like peak power or something. But they are very loud. They sound very nice. And as I said, they're very portable, very lightweight, very easy to move around. They have a handle on the top here. They have a one on the bottom for the fan, speaker fan, the tripod stuff. This is a very good portable system to move around quickly and get everything connected and start the party. And this is a good system that should work for basically almost any party, indoors or outdoors. And you also have the microphone input here and all that in this small, lightweight and powerful control box. And I have to say I like it a lot and I like how it's working. And so that's it for this video. Later on, I'll do a video about the bass speaker that I'm talking about and maybe mix it up with these and show how everything is going in combination and how I end up connecting everything and how everything actually works out. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.